Hello everyone, my name is Puppy Joe, and today we're going to talk about more light. A lot more light. After the last video where I compared the wooden torch versus the sconce, I got some questions about the iron torch, or the guck torch, and so forth. So I decided to do some tests, and here are the results. Pop! You don't even have to wait for minutes and minutes and minutes. They're all right there for you, at your convenience. Um, but now we're going to dive into those results and talk about what they mean. So I did a series of tests, first comparing the wooden torch, sconce, and iron torch, and guck torch, respectively. I burned three torches with one fuel source each. This is mostly just a check for consistency. And the results were great. I will tell you that before jumping into the time lapse, where I'm compressing about five and a half ish hours down to 60 seconds, that it will be dark the entire time. That's because the first time I did this, or the second time I did this, I died. But I decided to create a second character, move to a creative sandbox space, and I don't know how to use any of the commands. So I set the time of day to be night, because I thought it would look cool, and it was night the entire time. For my upcoming time lapses, that won't be an issue. But for this first one we're about to look at, it will be. So enjoy watching fire burn. And there we have it. Yeah. So the wooden torch seemed to burn fairly consistently at 2 hours, 46 minutes, and 43 seconds. The iron torch, guck torch, and sconce all burned for about 5 hours and 33 minutes and give or take 20 seconds. You'll notice there might be a, a second off here or there. My theory is that's mostly due to lag. I noticed as I was doing tests later on that the quicker I lit torches, the more out of sync they could be by a second or two. So I'm not really sure how the game reads frames or ticks, but my theory is it's just a little bit of lag on my side because my computer's not super, super, super duper fast. But anyway, those are pretty good results. So we could theorize that if you were to max out a wooden torch, you would get 11-ish hours. And if you were to max out a sconce, an iron torch, and a guck torch, you would get 33 hours. Now I'm not about to do a 33-hour time lapse, but I will do a 16 hour and 40 minute time lapse, which is why I have four wooden torches behind me, not just three. Spoiler alert. For the next time lapse, everyone gets fuel like we, did, like we did before, except I'm adding one fuel for each sconce you see or for each torch you see. Um, so the wooden torch will go up to the full max capacity at four fuel. And then for the iron torch, guck torch and sconce, we will keep it to three because uh, I could barely record 17 hours, much less 33 hours, but let's jump into that. We're about to watch 16 hours and 40-ish minutes, almost 17 hours, compressed down to 60 seconds. Let's go. And there we go. I feel like the results were pretty conclusive. I mean, it appears to me anyway. 
So, um, starting with the wooden torch A, B, C, D, we get 2 hours and 46 minutes, 5 hours and 33 minutes, 8 hours and 20 minutes, and then just like we predicted, 11 hours and 6 minutes. And 52 seconds, to be more specific. For the iron torch, we go from 5 hours and 33 minutes, 11 hours, 6 minutes, and 16 hours and 40 minutes. And it seems fairly consistent across the board, whether it's iron, guck, or sconce. So, it's safe to assume that if you were to max these bad boys out, you would get 33 hours of burn time, which is pretty cool, I thought. Not too bad, not too bad. If you notice too, there's a pattern with 2 hours and 46 minutes and 5 hours and 33 minutes. And we need one more bit of information to talk about that. And that's where we're going to jump to next. You might be wondering how come I didn't test braziers when I was doing all of those other tests. And the reason is, is because braziers put off heat. They actually keep you warm. Similar to campfires, bonfires, and hearths. So I thought to myself, it makes more sense to group up the things that keep you warm and output a lot of smoke. So in this next time lapse, we're actually going to be comparing campfires, bonfires, hearths, and braziers all in one. I'm not going to be doing two time lapses for this, showing a stacked fuel. I'm only going to do the initial one. I think it's safe to assume that everything will multiply appropriately, depending on how much fuel is in the, um, the thing. But yeah. Full disclosure, I didn't have to make all these windows, but I did because I know for the time lapse, as the light passes through, it creates really fun and interesting shadows and rays. So that's why we have a bunch of really broken up ornamental looking windows back there. But anyway, you want to talk about fuel, not my attempts at being an interior designer, so let's jump into the results. This felt pretty consistent too. Across the board, we got about 1 hours, 23 minutes, and 20-ish seconds for the campfire, the bonfire, and the hearth. And then, just like the torches and sconces before, we get 5 hours and 33 minutes on the braziers. Pretty cool to see. You'll notice a lot more input lag here. I mean, as you saw, there was some difficulty getting these bad boys lit. I think I was just getting a lot of lag on my ends. Maybe one day I'll download more RAM or whatever it is you have to do to get faster computers. That was a joke. Please know that was a joke. For the time being, let's look at the results a little bit closer. So the campfire, which burns one fuel for one hour, 23 minutes and 22 seconds, will have a total burn time of 13 hours, 53 minutes and 40 seconds. Very similar to the bonfire. Is there a storm coming on? So as we know, the bonfire is a lot more expensive to make than the campfire, but they have the exact same burn time. So we need to remember that the big benefit to having a bonfire is the fact that it can burn outside. It burns very big, very bright and doesn't go away in the rain is very convenient. The hearth has the exact same burn time for one fuel source at 1 hour 23 minutes and 20 -ish seconds, but it has a larger capacity. It can hold a total of 20, which means its total burn time is 27 hours 47 minutes and 20 seconds. Now the braziers, they output smoke and they keep you warm and they burn for the exact same time as the iron torch, guck torch, and sconce when comparing one fuel source. However, the brazier's capacity is only 5 opposed to 6, which means instead of 33 hours of burn time that you would get from the sconce, iron torch, or guck torch, you would only get 27 hours and 47 minutes of burn time for the brazier, but you get warmth as well, which is really nice. So there we have it. That's fuel. That's fuel in a nutshell. We did it. 
right when the storm comes in. We finished up. I only gained a couple of gray hairs during this whole process. My 16 hour time lapse, I had to restart 14 hours in because uh, I ran out of disk space. <laughs> and my original uh, six hour time lapse, I had to restart, uh, I think twice or two or three times because I died one time and things happen. But anyway, I'm down to continue doing more tests like this. If you have anything you want me to take a look at and take a peek at and poke at and see if we can find logic to it. Somewhat related, but I did connection point testing to comment on structural integrity and how it's not with connection points is actually with, oh, we have a buddy. Oh, you're coming inside. Oh, okay, bye. <laughs> that was cute. <laughs> to talk about how uh, building integrity is, or structural integrity is uh, more about uh, building materials and less about connection points. So related to that, I do want to do a test on stone building. Oh, hey again. Oh, he's coming to say hi. Go outside. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Shoo. Stain my floor. We should probably close this, right? Uh, but yeah, we'll do a test on uh, stone structure soon. But if you really like this kind of content and you want to see more of it, let me know below. But I'm happy to provide information while I can. And for free to subscribe. More Valheim Let's Plays coming soon. I archive my live stream Let's Plays here too. And occasionally dabble in some pixel art. Until next time, thanks so much for hanging out. I do appreciate it. And I will chat with you next time. Ciao. Oh, I just remembered. We never talked about the the um, the pattern here. Just really quick, I'll go over it. The campfires and the bonfires and the hearths burn for one hour and 23 minutes. The wooden torches burn for two hours and 46 minutes, which is one hour and 23 minutes multiplied by two. And the brazier sconces, guck torches, and iron torches burn for five hours and 33 minutes, which is two hours and 46 minutes multiplied by two. Whew. Cool, right?